Good morning, you guys. How you doing? Ooh, it's Wednesday. We made it to hump day. It's the middle of the week. It's almost over. And we made it. We on top of the grass instead of underneath it. We woke up in the land of the living. Praise God for that alone. Thank you. Ooh. So what, what's the topic today? What do we want to talk about today, you guys? Holler at me as you come in. Say hello. I keep forgetting to tell y'all to like and share. Like and share. Please like and share. Because somebody needs to hear um, the message that I'm giving today. So always like and share. Um, so uh, one, what I wanted God was talking to me about this morning is um, not conforming to um, the things of the world, right? Um, because we are believers, um, we're not to be, our mind is not to align with the things of the world. Um, we're supposed to align our thoughts with those of God and those of the Bible. Um, and one of the things that I was thinking about is like how um, the world loves to label us, loves to place labels on everything. Like, um, everything you do has a label for it. Like, if you drink too much alcohol, you're considered an alcoholic. Um, if you, um, if you sell drugs, you're a drug dealer. If you, um, commit adultery, you're an adulterer. Um, thank God that he doesn't see those things, you know, like he, God, I'm not going to say that he's not, um, that he doesn't see your sin because he does, but thank God that he doesn't call us by our sin, that he calls us by, um, what his purpose and plan is for us. And that's what he sees in us. Um, so as we go forward, as we go along in this walk, God sees who he purposed you to be, who he planned for you to be. And that's it. You know, nothing else. Um, the world sees you as whatever action you do, you know, um, and we shouldn't line, align our thoughts with that. You know, whenever you have an issue, um, go and see what the what the Bible says about you, what God says about you. God says you are an overcomer. Um, you are victorious. Um, you are the head and not the tail. So he has... Um, purpose and plan for you and he doesn't call you by the actions that you that you commit but the world does um, so don't align yourself or don't believe what the world has assigned what label the world has assigned to you um, now there's so many other different labels right now um, ugh, people want to be labeled some of everything we got um, they don't want to be called boy or girl they don't want to be called he or she like whatever um, good morning Justine um, there's so many labels that people are placing on people um, to define a category for everyone where we are just human. That's point blank period. We're just human. There's I don't want to be placed as um, in any type of category. I don't want to be labeled as, you know, whatever my action is, because um, that's not how God sees me. God doesn't see me that way. God sees me as the purpose and the plan that he put me on this earth for. Um, and that's what he calls me by. No other name. Um, he, he doesn't call me. Um, I've committed adultery. I have been in relation with the married man. So he doesn't call me an adulteress. Um, he doesn't call me because I drink alcohol. He doesn't call me an alcoholic. Um, he doesn't call me any of those things. Um, God just sees me. He sees who he ordained me to be when he placed me in my mother's womb. When he spoke me um, into existence, that's who he sees me to be. Um, Jesse says a lot of clothes are unisex now, and I was so confused <laughs> um, in the store the other day. Right? <laughs> right? It's like you... It just this world is so mixed up and so confused as what it wants to do, what it doesn't want to do, what rules it wants to follow, what rules it doesn't want to follow. Um, and then, uh, you know, yesterday, you guys, we had a guy that was, you know, on here yesterday, and he was, you know, speaking about the history of um, the Bible and who Jesus is and where it comes from. Um, and it's it's nice for you to know your history. You you should know your history. You should know that we have been lied to about a lot of things. 
Um, but that doesn't take away who God is. I'm, I'm not what the thing for me is that since I've taken this walk as a believer with God, I've seen him work. Even when I wasn't even taking this walk, when I wasn't even considering um, God, when I was still in my mess, I saw in my life that he was still there. He was still covering me. Um, and my my parent, my mom was is she's a praying mother you know what i mean so she worshiped um god and she called on the name of jesus so it's worked for her you know um and i'm not going to take anything away from anybody that works for you you know that's why when he was on yesterday i wasn't going to argue or go back and forth because what works for you works for you. If that's what works for you, then by all means, you continue to live that. And if that's the belief that you want to believe, then by all means, you continue to do that. It's not for me to judge. That's just period. It's not for me to go back and forth with you. I mean, this guy went into my inbox um, and really went in on me about I shouldn't be sharing this message with my black people because I'm a black woman and I'm, I'm feeding the lies of the white man and all this type of stuff. Um, let me tell you something about the truth. You don't have to argue it. You, you just don't, you know, um, I let people be them and be respectful. Yep. Um, but I've been confused about what people ha have going on these days. I guess I'm just getting, Oh, <laughs> Jesse. No, we, <laughs> um, I'm getting old too, Jesse, but no, these people like that is they're being deceived. They're being deceived. Um, because we're being exposed with so much information and we as black people are starting to realize the lies that was told to us. So because we're being exposed to these lies, we're miss, miss, um, I don't know the word I'm looking for. We're misunderstanding, um, where God lies in this, you know, what part of this he plays in this. And we're starting to believe the deception of the devil you know he's starting to tell you that this is not who you are this is not where you come from this is not this and this is not th right so at the end of the day no matter what lie was being told i still believe in god i still believe that jesus is the son of god i still believe that he sacrificed his life for us um and whether they want to believe that or not you know i still believe that you know the image that they tell us that they've shown us is of this white man, but that's that's totally impossible because um, when you look into history, those people are of, of dark skin. Um, so that was a lie, but the story of God is not a lie. The power of God, the power that Jesus possessed is not a lie. Um, if you go back, his name wasn't even Jesus. This is a, a name that we made up because there was no J in the Hebrew language. Um, there was no, uh, I mean, I'm sorry. Yep. There was no J in the Hebrew language. So, um, his name is Yeshua and God's name is Yahweh, you know? So those are the actual names, but we, we learn so much and feel like we're so open or we're so woke right now, um, that we're not really seeking the truth. We're discovering lies, but we're not seeking the truth. And the only way to do that is to seek God, is to hear what he has to say about you, um, what he has to say about what's going on in the world today. The Bible tells you all of the things that this, these things that are going on right now is already in the Bible. It's already written. God has already revealed to you the, the end game. So you already have an up <laughs> when you choose to walk this walk. Um, and the, the guy kept calling me a Christian. I, I'm not a Christian. You know, that's, I'm a believer. I believe even Chris, even Jesus didn't call us Christians. He called us believers. We are believers of Christ. We are believers um, in the, the gospel of the, and we spread the good of the gospel. That's point blank period. And it's really hard in this world. And I know it is when everyone is thinking one way and you are thinking another. It's hard to conform to that because everyone is on this one um this one plane you know this one idea you know um and then especially other religions they try to force their religion onto you their ideas their ideal ideology what you know what i'm trying to say um they try to force their beliefs on you whereas the truth doesn't have to be forced you know that's why i don't go back and forth with people about their beliefs i'm not going to argue with you about what it is that you believe it's not for me to the only thing it is for me to do is to tell you you know the truth and it's up to you to accept it or reject it now me i'm not going to force feed it to you that's just not me um 
God doesn't, he didn't force feed himself to me. He called me and I chose to answer his call. That was it. And, and that's how you end up on this, this path. God called you. you. So many people think that, um, you, you choose this and you don't, it's God calling you. And then you answer the call is you make a conscious decision because if God doesn't call you, he can leave you in your mess and you will just sit there just make, doing the same thing, thinking you're right, thinking that everything is okay because you're believing the, de the deception of the devil, the deception of the enemy. And he, he is very good at tricking us into believing lies is true. So the what I was talking about today, I said all oh, that to say this, that um, conform your mind to things of God not of the world. Are you going to look different? You are. Are people going to prosecute you for the things that you're saying and you do? Because you you think this is easy for me to get up here? Um, I definitely didn't want to do this, do these lives. I was like, Lord, no, I don't know nobody. I have no idea. Um, my Facebook page, I, had, I think I had like a hundred and something friends when I started this, you know, um, and I was like, God, I'm not going to do that. Like I Mm -mm, no, I don't even really know your word like that. Like I have a relationship with God. I never really studied the Bible because it was confusing for me, but I always talked to God. I always had a relationship with him. Um, now I'm really starting to learn, you know, things in the Bible. It's been really starting to be broken down for me, but I still don't read it as much as I should, but I still have a relationship with God. Um, and you know, when I started these lives, that's what I was on. I was like, no, I'm, I'm not going to do this guy. Like I really don't want to. And he kept calling me saying, you have to do these lives. Um, so when I stepped into it, when I say like that next day, I had, I mean, not even, I, I would literally say that next day friend requests from everywhere. You know, now I have like almost 5,000 friends, um, on my Facebook page, starting with just a hundred. And, you know, I still don't get that many views, but it's for whatever he, um, he had me do this for a reason. So it's somebody that I'm supposed to be touching. There's a, a soul that is connected to me that I'm supposed to be speaking to. And that is the only purpose I'm worried about. I'm not worried about, you know, uh, what people think of me when I get on here. I'm not worried about people attacking me because this guy did come for me yesterday. Um, and it was funny to me, you know, because I'm like, you trying to force your idea on me. You're trying to force how you believe on me. Um, if it was really true, you wouldn't have to do that. You wouldn't have to now go into my inbox and, you know, then continually uh, attack me, you know, and then say, but I love you. You know, <laughs> how do you attack somebody and then say, I love you? I don't understand that, you know, but so this, this road is not easy. It's not going to be easy. You're going to stand out. You're going to be different. Um, that's one thing I've noticed my entire life. I always ask God, like, why don't I fit in anywhere? Why don't I have um, somewhere that I feel comfortable? Where um, Why don't I have friends that call on me when they have get-togethers? You know, um, when I have a get-together, I call everybody. And, you know, most people will show. Um, but when they going out and they're doing things, nobody calls on me. You know, but then I happen to go on Facebook or Instagram and I see they had this little get-together. And, you know, it, sometimes it hurts. But I realized that I'm not supposed to be in that type of environment. I'm not supposed to be part of the world. That it was God has set me apart so that I'm not a part of the world. And I'm so appreciative of that because I know that the life that I'm living is beneficial. I've seen him open doors that I know shouldn't have been open. You know, I've seen him bless me in ways that I know I shouldn't have been blessed, that I know I didn't deserve it. Um, but because I've been obedient and because I wasn't in type in certain environments or around certain people that would have blocked those blessings or blocked those doors, um, God has made these things possible. So this walk isn't easy. I know it gets hard. Um, I know it gets hard trying to think differently, trying to conform your mind to align with that of God. Um, I know that it can be very tough, um, to not fit in with the masses, to not do what the masses are doing because you see everybody doing it, you know, and that's just, you know, how kids learn too when they, they learn from the things that they see, not the things that you tell them. Um, so that's why it's very important to live your life according to how you want your kid to be. You know, if you want your kid to live a certain type of life, you have to show them what that looks like, not just tell them and then live a different life. Um, and that's 
most people are visual people. So it's like I said, it's really hard um, to live a life um, that reflects God when everyone else around you um, is not living that type of life. Um, and the only way to battle that is to stay constantly in prayer, to stay constantly um, connected with God. Like I said, um, faith coming by the hearing the word of God. So every morning I'm listening to something about God. Um, even at my sleep, the unconscious mind, I'm playing things while I'm sleeping um, so that I can feed the unconscious mind as well. Um, those things are very important. Um, as I've talked to you all week about um, feeding your spirit, you know, you can't eat something on Monday and think that's going to last you all the way until Friday. Um, that's just not how the body works. That's not how the spirit works either. You can't feed it something. You feed your spirit something on Monday and think that come Friday, you're going to be okay. You know, um, that's why um, um, Tuesday mornings, I'm listening to the pastor. On Wednesdays, I'm going to uh, Bible study. On Thursdays, I'm on my own. I'm feeding myself still. On Fridays, I'm listening to the pastor in the morning. Saturdays, I'm on my own. I'm still listening to whatever I can about God, soaking up whatever I can about who he is. And then Sunday, I'm in church. Um, Monday, again, I'm on my own. So um, that's one thing the pandemic has truly taught me is that um, we must do our own research. We must be on our own and have our own relationship with God. When he told me to start these lives, the only thing he told me to talk about was the relationship. And he was like, I, I hear him clear as day. Like, I know you don't know the Bible. I'm not asking you to know that, but you know me. So talk to them about the relationship. God is really concerned about the relationship. He don't care if you can quote off scriptures to him he don't care if you can um if you know the bible from beginning to end because so many people know the bible and they're not living it god wants to know are you applying those things that you know to your life um are you keeping that relationship with him are you maintaining a relationship with him are you talking to him that's the only way that you can keep a relationship even when you're in a human relationship and you're talking to them if you don't talk to somebody for a while you don't know what's going on with them right um in order to have a successful relationship communication is key you must talk to each other um and talking requires i mean communication requires listening you cannot just talk to god and don't listen for him so many people say, I can't hear him. He doesn't talk to me. God is talking all the time. Sometimes I have to be like, okay, God, I heard you. <laughs> you know, I heard you. Like, okay, stop. <laughs> you know, um, because he talks so much to me. But in order to him hear him, we have to meditate and listen. You know, sometimes I'll go and say, God, okay, this is what I want. This is where I'm at. This is what's going on. Now you tell me what I'm what am I supposed to do from this point you know lead me from this point what am I supposed to do and then I just sit there you know I just listen like okay now what do you want to tell me and it's sometimes that that meditation that listening to him people think that it's maybe five or ten minutes you know what sometimes it's like I told you guys before sometimes I could be sitting there for 30 40 minutes sometimes he doesn't say anything and I just have to wait until he's ready to tell me what it is that he wants me to do. He doesn't always tell me in that meditation. It may take a while or sometimes I'll be praying about something else and meditating, waiting for an answer about um, the answer that I mean, the question that I asked on that prayer. And he'll answer the question to the previous prayer. You know, so God, his understanding is not our understanding. His ways is not our ways. So I don't try to debate or argue with him about what it is that he wants me to do. I just wait on him and allow him to lead me and guide my steps. Um, and that comes from having a relationship with him. So again, you guys, it's very important to have the relationship. It's not really that important to really just be able to throw off scripture, to be able to just tell, you know, in this, in the Bible, this verse says this, that's, it's good to know that because you need to know what God says about you, but the best thing that I know is the relationship. That's the one thing I've, I've always had with God. I'm, well, I'm not going to say always. Cause like I said, there was times where I wasn't even thinking about him, but I knew he had me covered. And that comes from a praying mother that had me covered. Um, praise God for, for a praying mother. Um, and if you have a praying mother or father, you need to hug and love on them because they saved you from your mess. Because one of the promises of God is that I, if you serve me, I will bless your kids kids 
generation upon generation I will bless. Uh, and because of you having a praying mother or a praying um, father or somebody in your house or your, your lineage was praying, you are covered and blessed because of that. Um, and because of that, that's the part of the reason why I decided to, too, because I want to make sure that my kids are covered, that my kids' kids are covered, that they don't have to worry about um, being attacked by the devil and not being able to overcome it. Uh, they don't have to be worried about uh, this life and the cruel things that it will throw upon you. Um, and you won't believe what the world says about you, but what God says about you. Um, so that was the only thing that I wanted to talk about today, guys. Just um, conforming your mind to the and, and aligning it with the thoughts of God and the thoughts that he has about you and trying to um, not fall victim to the thoughts of the world um, and believing what the world says about you. Um, so I'll go ahead and pray. So our father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil forever and ever. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Father, I thank you this morning, Lord, for waking us up this morning, Lord, in our right minds, Lord God. I thank you for fighting battles seen and unseen, Father God. Lord God, I thank you this morning just for renewing our minds, Lord God, teaching us how to align our thoughts with yours, Lord God. Father God, I thank you for ordaining our steps and aligning our steps and will uh, with your will for our lives, Lord God. Father God, I thank you, Lord, for having having a purpose for us, Lord God. I thank you for blessing us the moment that we were placed in our parents' womb, Lord God, and uh, setting out a destiny for us that you would lead us to, Lord God. Father God, I thank you for removing any and all plans of the enemy out of our way, Lord God. I rebuke any plan of the enemy right now, God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. Lord God, I thank you for touching the minds of the people that are connected with me, Lord God, that you renew their mind, that you renew their way of thinking, Lord God, that you talk to them, Lord God. Open their ears so that it is so that they may hear you lord god open their hearts so they that so that they may receive your love lord god hallelujah i thank you father father i ask these prayers and blessings name of the father the son and of the holy spirit amen and amen amen so you guys it's wednesday oh i love it um i get to go out today on my new job i'm out in the field which is nice i'm back out in the field um, I love it because I get to, you know, be a part of a community that I want to help, you know. Um, I ran away from Milwaukee so much, you know. I was trying to live everywhere but Milwaukee, but God kept bringing me back here. Um, and the pastor said one thing the other day is like, your purpose is where you started, you know what I mean? So he kept bringing me back here. So there's a purpose for me here. So one of the things in my heart is to help is to serve the people that's one of the reasons why i work for the state i feel like when you work for the state that's a that's a position of servitude you work for the community you're not over them you're not above them you work for them um and i love that position that i have now as being an investigator so now i get to um help people in in a way that i think will be able to be beneficial to the community that I'm in. Um, being able to get out and talk to them and, and, and meet with them and be face to face with them um, and find out why they're in the position they're in, um, get a better understanding of them so that I can know what I need to do to help them. Um, and then still seek God because God is gonna give me instruction and directions on how to do that. Um, so I'm, I'm excited today that I get to go out in the field today. Um, I love you guys. There's nothing you can do about it, so accept it and move on. And with that being said, you guys have a wonderful day. And if God willing, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.